Hello, I know you have been waiting for my video this week. So I came back with one more video tutorial, but this time not the Power Automate or SharePoint. I was going to explain something new in this video that is how to turn off Microsoft Authenticator app access from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I will, I know you were also confused about this heading. So let me explain first about this heading. Let me go and open the browser so that you will get to know about what that heading means. So here I have opened my browser. Uh, now I wanted to sign in to my Microsoft 365 account. So whenever I was signing to my Microsoft 365 account, when you are signing in for your Microsoft 365 account, you might have faced or seen the notification like approve sign in request while logging before to the Microsoft 365 account. This is because the extra security provided by the Microsoft from the Microsoft Authenticator. So first let me show you that message. Then I will show you how to disable that message while signing into the Microsoft 365 account for a specific user as well as for the organizational level. Let me log into the Microsoft 365 account first. Here I was signing in with the Joanna sign in. Here I already have the password to click on sign in. You can see this notification will be pop up when you are signing into the Microsoft 365 account that is approve sign in request open your authenticator app and enter the number shown in shown in to sign in. So to sign in we have to enter this number in our mobile authenticator app. This is because our organization may have enabled this Microsoft Authenticator access while signing into the Microsoft account. So I will show you how to disable this one so that the user can easily log into their accounts without getting this notification repeatedly. To disable this approval request sign in access, you should need to have global admin, global admin access so we need to do so we need to navigate to the microsoft 365 admin center from there we need to go to the steps first i will log in with my another account that have the admin permission now you can see as i have logged in with the another user with the party account this has the admin permission when we click on the app launcher we can go to the microsoft 365 admin center from the app shown from the microsoft 365 apps or else you can also navigate to the browser navigate through the browser by typing admin.microsoft.com so that it will navigate directly to this page in this page when you can see the on the left side navigation when we click on the users drop down when we when you click on the users drop down select the active users so she can enable or disable the multi-factor authentication for all the users displaying here so our user here is Joanna as I have logged in with the previously when you click on this user when you click on the user you can directly click on multi-factor authentication or else when you scroll down to the details of this page at the bottom of the page you can find manage multi-factor authentication by clicking on this link it will redirect to the Microsoft Entra admin center before I told you, you should need to have global admin access. This is because this is because it will navigate to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. So you also need to have the Microsoft Entra Admin Center access. Then you can see it has been redirected to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center users page. This is per user multi-factor authentication page. Here it will display all the users. We can select the user that you whom you wanted to disable the 
multi-factor authentication as you can see here it has been enforced it has been enabled for the joiners so it was showing for the approval request access while signing into the microsoft 365 account when you, when you select on the user it will display the options here click on disable mfa multi-factor authentication then it will display this disable multi-factor authentication notification box click on disable it will take some time to disable uh, after disabling you can see multi-factor authentication was disabled successfully so now the changes has been applied i will go back and log in with the same user joanna now let's see if the authenticator approval access is getting or not when you log in with the joanna now i have selected after disabling the microsoft authenticator it has been directly opened the microsoft 365 account without any notification or without any approval access for the sign in it has logged into this so this is how to disable or turn off the microsoft authenticator app access while signing into your microsoft 365 account now i will show you how to disable the microsoft authenticator app access at the organization level so that all the users who has they can able to log in directly without their authenticator app access before that i wanted to show you something from our side uh, so let me open this our products page this is the sharepoint power platform and spfx solutions products this has been developed by our team uh, when you go to this page you can find so many products that we have developed you can click on the download solution to download the solution to your environment also you can see all the details of each products has been mentioned below to that product uh, it will be helpful for you if you go and check the detail look at so thank you and let's go back to our video now let's begin with how to disable it at the organization level uh, this is my microsoft 365 in the app launcher open the admin center that is microsoft 365 admin center in the admin center click on show all button then it will display all the admin center options here here you couldn't able to find the microsoft enter so click on all admin centers option then it will display in the separate page all the admin centers as you can see and click on the microsoft enter it will redirect to the microsoft enter admin center this will take a few seconds because it is navigate to the again we came back Again, we came back to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center in the MFST Technologies page. When you click on the properties, when you click on the property, it will show all the properties related to this technologies at the organizational levels. In the security defaults, select the link manage security defaults. It will open the window. As our organization has already disabled this one, but your organization may have enabled it. So you can select the option here as disabled. When you come to the protect, click on the drop down of protection. After that, select authentication methods. In the authentication methods, it will open the authentication methods. Click on settings. You can also see here that Microsoft Authenticator has not been enabled. So my organization has not enabled this one. But your organization may have enabled and click on the settings icon. You can see here system preferred multi-factor authentication. You can select the options uh, enabled or disabled. As, my, as I have already disabled this one. 
when you click on enable you may enable for the all users or you can also select a group but i was disabling it for my organization so it will disable for all the users in my organization so this is how to manage your approval request access while signing into the microsoft 365 account so thank you and uh, see you in the next video i hope you guys like the video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more interesting content click on the bell icon see you in the next video thank you